Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again. Feels like I've been gone forever, even though I haven't been too many days since I posted a video, but uh, it has been a couple days since I've made one. Um, and so, yeah, usually I have a couple in the queue. And uh, yeah, so had the whole New Year weekend, which I had two gigs back to back. I had to preach at church on Sunday, so it really made for a complicated weekend. And then I ended up getting sick on Monday, and um, yes, yeah, so I'm just feeling good enough now to get a video made. And just in time, because this package just came in the mail today. Wasn't expected till Friday, but it just came in the mail today. So, I've been, these particular records of this set have been on my wish list for a couple years. I mean, well, for, they've been sort of available for a couple years, I guess. So, I've kind of been watching them, but they weren't a high priority. But then I went over to um, one of the sites that I buy these high roller record type releases from, uh, MiamiMetalMerchant.com. And I noticed that they had the entire, all, all five of these releases, and they were all in the low $20 range, which is incredibly crazy for a high roller record release because they're imports and... Anyway, so I scooped them up real quick, only to find out that number one was no longer available uh, to be acquired. So I almost had the entire set, but I've actually only started with number two. And we're talking about the Riot Archive series that started being released, uh, like I said, a couple years ago. So if you're not familiar with Riot, which you should be, you know, one of those everybody's favorite band that is not as popular as they should have been but anyway riot new york band they've been around for quite a while and uh most people don't don't really know most people didn't seem to know who they were until thundersteel but most of the rest of us who were real big fans know that all of the years before that are some prime stuff so the first volume was uh 76 through 81 which would have been all the mark real years would have been just you know a lot of the classics and then this picks up 82 to 83. And yeah, so these high roller record releases tend to have a lot of extras. Each one of these sets comes with the DVD. This particular DVD has like six promo interviews and videos uh, type things on this particular one. It's a two record set. I just bought the black vinyl because that saves even more money. It is a gatefold. Didn't have any extras in this particular one. So there you go. There was just that releases. But yeah, so this has a lot of the stuff, you know, of course, from that era. Everything from some instrumental versions of some things. But even got the Rhett Forrester audition tape on here. It's got a couple songs from that. So this would have been, you know, I love the Rep Forrester years. He's one of my favorite singers. And so, yeah, this would have been coming into that era there. Then we got number three. So this is 87 through 88. A shorter span, expanse of time there. And then this one, also a double record set, also has a DVD. This is live in Texas, 1988. DVD. I haven't watched the DVDs yet to see what kind of quality we got there, but it's got a little promo type picture, a little extra there. Two record set again on black. There. And it also is a gatefold. So. So this is when you're moving into the Thundersteel era and stuff. So this is uh, this is probably the era where they really started to break somewhat on the main scene. At least it seems like when you talk to people about Riot, they always say, oh, yeah, Thundersteel. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. The circle I, I, I hang out in love it all. But there are some, and that seems to be where they learned about them. All right, so then we get into uh, 4, 88 through 89. Live in Kobe. It's got a DVD here. Double record set. This one, the extra is a poster. Kind of an interesting, interesting looking, I'm assuming, reproduction of a poster for a concert. It is a gatefold also. So, yeah, it's got rough mixes and things along that line. Some unreleased stuff, some four-track demos, things along that line. So, 
just some cool archival footage. And then up next we got volume five. So this one is, where's is the years on here? All right, all right, it's 1992 to 2005. Actually doesn't have it on the actual cover. Hmm, it just says Riot. Interesting. This is a double record set also, but it is not a gatefold. It's just a, a larger than normal regular fold. <laughs> so yes, and I actually listened to this today. It's got some great songs. They sound great. Even the rough mixes and, and alternative takes, I mean, they sound like pretty much like studio quality. So some really good stuff here. It also comes with Live in Japan 1996 DVD. There. It's a double record set. It's got an insert. It's blank on one side and it's got some text on that side with some photos. And it also has a poster. Which is basically the cover, an expanded edition of the cover. Full full photo there. I mean full of the cover front and back. Black vinyl. So yeah, there you go. I really dig Riot. I've been a fan of Riot since the early 80s. And uh, yeah, I really want to get that volume one. I'm, I'm looking to track it down. Um, I'm finding it on Discogs, but only for overseas, not, you know, which is kind of a hefty price. Uh, Amazon has it for like 70 bucks, but one day, one day. But for now, I have two, three, four, and five. And so that's great enough for me. Anyway, that's it for this one. Thanks a lot for watching. Rock on and rock hard.